we're here at the EcoG booth at the Power to Drive in Munich. And EcoG's slogan for this booth is come visit our ecosystem. Now, what exactly that is, um, Yorkoya, you're a CEO of EcoG. You're going to tell us uh, what kind of ecosystem are you talking about when you say come visit? Yeah, so first of all, I, I think it's an exciting time for electric mobility. So we are seeing a more and more professionalizing market. And a symptom of that is that you have more and more companies, international corporates, uh, creating components for this market. And so you need to get now these components together to fast build a scaling um, charging infrastructure. And we build a core element to bring these components together with our reference designs. And basically by that out of the box uh, ecosystems are created. So we are working with companies like Rital, Siemens, Bender and others, all having a specific view what kind of components they build and out of the components how to build scaling in a scaling way, new innovative charging infrastructure. So you see yourself kind of as a link for this ecosystem, but that's not all you do. Um, you also have a technical aspect in this uh, ecosystem. You provide software for something that you're also presenting here, power block dispenser architecture, something that you are calling a game changer. Can you explain to me a little bit about, or, or explain to me what that is so we can talk about, about it a little more? Yeah, so today if you talk with EV drivers uh, and they are fast charging, they're always concerned, oh, you know, my, my charge is stopping in 10 minutes, I need to repark my car. Yeah, how mad is that? Yeah, so you are stepping out of the meeting just to repark your car. And I, I thought, hey, Probably it's more meaningful to repark your power units and not the car. And that's actually what the power block dispenser is about. You have very affordable dispensers fixed connected to uh, the vehicles, but there's no much technology in. Okay. Technology is in the power block behind with all the power electronics and with the switching matrix, which we call EcoG Connect, we can now dynamically assign power modules to these outlets and that means to the vehicles. So when you know the charging curve goes down, then this system already starts to make use with the not used power modules for other charging processes. And therefore you can, as a user, be completely relaxed on one side, but also for the operator, you make more efficient use of all these power modules you have installed because you know, you're switching it dynamically to those vehicles which can best make use out of this. Okay, so I'm saying as long as there's enough parking spots, uh, you're just going to turn off one of the cables that is no longer yeah, needed to use and you use the energy and feed it in another cable where the exactly, new cars are Exactly, because this dispenser is like, like, an, like an AC wall box, it's really cheap, no much technology in, basically cable, a DC breaker and a little bit of control, that's it. And so you can afford to have really a lot of parking lots with these dispensers. And the cost, you know, the cost intensive part in the power block that you are dynamically switching so that the vehicles are not blocking the stuff. Okay, so that's a lot of hardware. Where does EcoG come in? Well, at the end, you know, that's a lot of smartness, how you do the switching efficiently, right? So you make use really of your capex you have done there. So we, we have made an estimate that roughly with this architecture and the intelligence behind, you are driving down the cost of total, total cost of ownership by 20 to 25 percent. That's significant. Yeah? And that counts in when you start from six lots, maybe to eight. And then this is already a lot more capex effective. Okay, so we're talking lots of money here. Um, so where, I mean, where you see this, uh, this type of architecture going? I mean, how fa or when do you see it changing the landscape of EV charging and yeah. uh, kind of replace all the standalone chargers that we have? Or will it replace all the standalone chargers we all have? Well, it's probably, there are still cases for the standalone charger and this is also important to get into this market. But if you think of, um, for instance, retail sites where you start 10% of your parking lots you are electrifying, you do this with this efficient architecture. If you think of fleets, yeah, name me a company not considering transportation, right? So it's kind of a really a global topic. So when you think of fleets, how to electrify it, it's this notion of infrastructure because it's so controllable. Yeah? And uh, we see there now on the time scale that new companies come in. So we just announced our cooperation, for instance, with Vital being very close to substation, so more to the good side, stepping in to scale this market. Yeah? And then you have companies like, like Technogon, for instance, being in, in AC charging before saying, yeah, I know how to do this dispenser. So it's not only about technology, but it's just new roles in this market. And that's where we see basically uh, first sites going out there by end of this year. 
but we see an enormous scale because if you think of you need to electrify more than six sites, this becomes the most cash efficient way to do it. Okay, and where will these pilot sites be? So we, will, we are today very much focused on retail and fleet. So these, we believe, are the first movers. Yeah. But you can't tell me how they'll be located in Germany, I assume, and yeah. can you tell me like where? Yeah, so what we what we what we have as a program is uh, five regions, yeah. five, uh, uh, five five regions, five five installers. So we try to have that really uh, international in Europe, uh, and we have a, a strong partner by end of the year. Here we are standing also in a certain context, uh, who will go out to the market in North America with the same concept. Okay, well we look forward to that, York. Thank you very much, and uh, well I wish you a good rest of the uh, trade fair here in Munich.